Hey, welcome to the Birdcraft Technology. Here, we foster the culture of being committed aviation professionals. Welcome. So what are you going to use as an aircraft mechanic? Do you like Snap-on? Do you like Craftsman? Do you like Mac? What's the standard? Matco? What are you guys using out in the field? If you're an aspiring aircraft mechanic, you're probably wondering what tools you should buy, what brand of tools you should buy, and you're probably receiving a lot of different advice and guidance out there. To become an aircraft mechanic, there is without a doubt an investment, and that investment is tools. If you're an entry level aircraft mechanic or if you're aspiring to be, you're going to need basic hand tools. Minimally, you're going to need basic hand tools. Go ahead and accept the fact that you're an aircraft mechanic. You're just unlicensed. And so you can't you can't be an aircraft mechanic if you don't have tools, right? You can't you can't be a dentist if you don't have a dental pick and all those tools to actually do the job. You need the tools to do the job. So understand there's going to be an investment. Understand that, that the minimal investment is going to be basic hand tools. And then you have to understand the basic hand tools. Let me back up. After you acquire the basic hand tools, what I would advise is get your specialty tools. What are examples of specialty tools going to be? Examples of specialty tools are going to be duckbill pliers, safety wire pliers, cannon plug pliers. A multimeter it's gonna be things that you need to do the job so now you have your basic hand tools and you have your specialty tools or our, or our trade tools and at that point you can upgrade you can upgrade your basic hand tools let's say you decide to go with craftsman and you buy all your craftsman basic hand tools and then you get all your specialty tools, your duckbill pliers, your cannon plug pliers, your safety wires, pliers, all the basic hand tools you need, your ball peen hammer, everything that you need to become an aircraft mechanic. And then at that point, you can upgrade your hand tools. But let's talk. Professionals use professional tools. This is a saying that my mentor used to tell me. He used to say, Joshua, professionals use professional tools. We're talking about a late 60 year old gentleman who had a snap-on toolbox with all the shiny snap-on tools. All the little gadgets to do the job the fastest, the quickest. And I believe that he was telling the truth when he said professionals use professional tools. But I would like to modify that and say professionals use tools professionally. Because if you have a half-inch wrench, okay, you can have two half-inch wrenches one snap-on and one craftsman they're going to perform the same they're both going to be able to get on that half inch nut and you're going to be able to turn that half inch nut now there is going to be a point to where maybe this craftsman will give and break before this snap-on there's a possibility but at that point it could be argued that you should be using a different tool maybe you shouldn't be using a wrench now the counter argument to that is you could be limited to space. And so going back to another saying my mentor used to say is there's a thousand tools in my toolbox and not a single one makes the job harder. More so than focusing on the best branded tool, I want you to focus on using the tool correctly. The first point was understand you have to make an investment. The second point is it's not so much the brand but how you use it. Use the tools correctly. Use them for the purpose that they were meant and designed to be used for. My third point is be practical. You know, if you work in an operation where you make two to three grand a week as an aircraft mechanic, which is a thing, you probably don't want to have tools from Harbor Freight. Because the operation has empowered you to be a quality mechanic, you could go the basic route where you have your basic hand tools and then you acquire all of your trade tools and at that point you have it to upgrade so why don't you upgrade it looks a little odd if you're getting paid two to three grand a week if you're getting paid to be this super corporate polished aircraft mechanic your tools don't look the part and so my third point would just be practical understand what type of operation you're in 
and understand what they're looking for. You know, every operation is different. And so if you are making a lot less, 15 bucks an hour, maybe you're in the entry level stage, don't go off and buy Snap-on. Don't go off and buy Matco. At that point, you're cutting out all of your revenue and you could argue and say, well, I only have to buy this tool once. But I'll tell you, my mentors, a group of five or six, 65 year old to 74 year old men, were still buying tools. So my official advice and guidance would be, buy your basic hand tools with a less expensive brand. Buy your specialty tools and then upgrade your hand tools to a more quality brand if you choose to do so and then use your old tools recycle your old tools and put them in your travel bag or your traveling box now every time you need to do a job on the road you don't have to go take all the tools out of your your toolbox or maybe you'll have multiple projects going on maybe you're what we call moonlighting you then have the tool bag to go take to that job all right so now you entry level or aspiring aircraft mechanics know what you need to do to acquire tools and the mindset behind buying the right tool. I want you guys to continue pursuing excellence. Subscribe, follow me on IG, listen to the podcast, and join the Facebook group.